Republican members of the Electoral College, this message is for you. Oh man, this should be good. Supreme victory! So the elusive man, aka Martin Sheen, with a net worth of 50 million, wants to bitch to you for a little while and also with his very far left leaning celebrity friends. Let's see what they have to say, shall we? As you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of a demagogue and to ensure that the presidency only goes to someone who is to an eminent degree endowed with the requisite qualifications. Well, that's nice and all, but you know, the Electoral College was more for balance. They wanted to make sure that the people that lived outside of the heavily populated areas, you know, the metropolises of today were also represented as well. And people keep calling Donald Trump a demagogue. And the funny thing is Hillary Clinton was much more of a demagogue than Trump ever was. Just look at the definition. A political leader who seeks support by appealing to popular desires and prejudices rather than by using rational argument. Sounds like the elusive man might be indoctrinated. Listen to yourself. You're indoctrinated. No. No. An eminent degree. Someone who is highly qualified for the job. Jesus Christ, look at her eyes. It looks like she just started crying or she just stopped crying. And it, it obviously she's trying to just appeal to people's emotions to, you know, to get other people to be like, oh my God, it's so sad. And she's, she, she's so passionate about this stuff. But then when you think about it for two seconds, I'm like, she's a fucking actress. It's fake. The Electoral College was created specifically to prevent an unfit candidate from becoming president. Mm, no. There are 538 members of the Electoral College. You and just 36 other conscientious Republican electors can make a difference by voting your conscience on December 19th. Basically what they're telling you is to put your feelings over factual evidence or data or anything like that that actually makes sense to you. Just use your conscience. What is it telling you? It's telling you that Trump is a deplorable, racist, homophobic piece of shit. So you have to vote for not Trump. And thereby shaping the future of our nation. A2, Saul? I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. Sure. I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, huh? As you know, the Constitution gives electors the right to vote for any eligible person. Any eligible person, no matter which party they belong to. Guess what, elusive man? Trump was eligible and he won. Stop trying to take that away from him. No, I'm in control. No one is telling me what to do. But it should certainly be someone you consider especially competent. Especially competent to serve as President of the United States of America. What the hell is that thing? It looks like Ron Perlman was trying to audition for white chicks. By voting your conscience, you and other brave Republican electors can give the House of Representatives the option to select a qualified candidate for the presidency. Trump is qualified. Just because you don't like him doesn't mean that he's incapable of becoming the president of the United States. I stand with you. I stand with you. I stand with you. Seriously, who are these people? The only ones I actually recognize is Martin Sheen and that dude Saul from Breaking Bad. Well, that Asian guy looks a little familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I stand with you in support and solidarity with conservatives, independents, and liberals. And all citizens of the United States. Unfortunate for you guys that tens of millions of citizens don't stand with you. The American people trust that your voice speaks for us all. And that you, you will make yourself heard through the constitutional responsibility granted to you by Alexander Hamilton himself. What is evident is that Donald Trump lacks more than the qualifications to be president. Ah, there we go. I was wondering if they were actually going to say his name. You know, I thought it was just going to be implied like, oh, you know who we're talking about. You know, but then, you know, old man Winter just actually comes through and he's like, you know, Donald Trump, man. Fuck that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he lacks the necessary stability. And clearly the respect for the constitution of our great nation. Really? How? <laughs> Fucking how? Please explain that to me. I'm all fucking ears. Well, maybe not all ears. You have position. Oh, wait, now I remember this guy. <laughs> oh man, I'm fucking awful. Are you crazy? The authority and the opportunity to go down in the books as an American hero. Who changed the course of history. And you have my respect. You have my respect. You have my respect. For your patriotism and service to the American people.
This is so embarrassing and cringe-worthy to watch. Celebrity campaigns are always so patronizing and they always act like they're better than you. Sorry, Martin Sheen. Just because you played a president on TV doesn't mean you actually know what the fuck you're talking about. I've said it time and time again that I'm not crazy about Trump, but the people have spoken. Trying to shame the electors or trying to tell them that they'll be American heroes to, to get them to change their mind and make sure that Trump doesn't win is fucking despicable. Furthermore, at no point in this video have you guys actually showed any proof that Donald Trump is actually unqualified to be president. Let me guess it's because you think he's racist, sexist, homophobic, and any other negative label that you fucking created under the sun. Shit like this is exactly why Trump won. You guys want to keep focusing on the bullshit issues like identity politics and you want to ignore the real issues that people are facing. So much so that it is imperative for you guys to get a woman in office and you want to ignore all the illegal shit that she's been involved with. The Democratic Party is broken and is filled with a bunch of SJW nonsensical rhetoric. And until the classical liberals put the radical, crazy, progressive liberals in check, people like Donald Trump are going to keep uh, continue to be elected. So you can take your fucking campaigns and fuck off with them because they're not going to do a goddamn thing for anyone. No, I really don't know how to end this video, actually. It's kind of awkward. Um, hey, babe, you want to have sex? Yeah. Cool. <laughs>